as someone who's started his own his own companies and you know built up some pretty impressive companies over the years what what is your advice for people who want to go into business for themselves and and you know might like to think and work on a macro level like that yeah i uh, i mean i think be prepared for i mean being a financial recognize that that the first few years will be financially lean yes. um every time i've gone either from a big company to a startup or i've started my own company i've basically taken like a 40% pay cut, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah, sure, sure. And I'll at least a 40% pay cut, right? Yeah. So have some reserves because okay. it's gonna, it will always take longer than you think. You yep. have this brilliant idea. It will, you know, you'll see it to fruition in nine months and you'll be rich. Those things don't happen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> big success journeys that you look at, you look at, you know, companies like CrowdStrikes, Splunk, other people, com companies kind of in the security business. You look at FireEye when it initially kind of came out. These were all eight, nine, 10 year journeys, yeah. right? And you, we like to think of them as these overnight successes, <laughs> uh, right. but they have been at it for a while. And so what I would say is, you know, be prepared for a longer journey, which basically that also means surround yourself with people that you would want to have on that journey. Um, have partners, uh, you know, as, as a startup, as a, as an individual, that's a hard thing to do. If you've got a couple of friends who you, who, you know, won't, won't annoy you and who, who you can go along on a long journey with, go yeah. camping with them for a weekend. To there you go. Out. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, bring them along bit. because you will need to sustain yourselves emotionally as a team because there will be rough spots. But I think, um, it's a great experience. Um, I know uh, th there's always this kind of wonderful myth in, in Silicon Valley, right? That, that, that there's, uh, that you learn more, uh, th th that you should have several failed startups on your resume as a, as right. a, as a badge of honor. I have uh, unfortunately not had any failed startups on my resume, although I would, <laughs> I would say, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> you know, uh, plan, plan on, on being at it for a while, enjoy the journey. Yep. Um, have somebody with business acumen within, within sure. that core team. So you are actually picking, you're not just picking a problem that you can solve, but a problem, a solution that, that people will actually pay you. Cause I mean, yep. that was another, that was another kind of funk software thing that I learned from Paul Funk is just because there's a problem out there that you can see that you can solve doesn't mean somebody's going to pay you money for it. Oh yeah. There you go. That's a, that's a good takeaway right there. Put that, put that on a plaque. New episodes of CyberWork are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to claim your free month of InfoSec skills. Sign up using the code CyberWork and you'll get unlimited access to hundreds of courses, hands-on labs, certification practice exams, skills assessments, and more. Use code CyberWork for InfoSec skills.